the attack. Very clever indeed, Tereska. Jeez, not gonna lie, that caught me off guard. Also, does Ronaldo get an assist for this? Yeah, I thought not. Well, you should. It's much more of an assist than this. Troll. <coughs> So Al Nusser have just scraped a 2-1 victory over a side who were dead on mid-table in the SPL. And to be fair, during the initial quarter of the game, I was starting to think that Ronaldo may be at fault for this. He didn't seem to be as mobile as he usually is, leading me to thinking he's probably tired from the international break. He is 38 after all. But then he goes and does this. Age is just a number, isn't it? So, if Ronaldo wasn't the problem, the question is what was? Well... Look, trust me, I'm not picking on the guy, but go back and watch it. This was very clearly a game of two halves, with the favourites fumbling, flopping and falling over while failing to find their feet in the first, and then absolutely bossing the proceedings in the second. The difference? This fella! Because as I've been saying, when Garib comes on, the team established their natural shape and just look more... Natural. And yes, look, I know Taliska scored one of the goals in the second half, but again, it was another moment of individual brilliance. Because again, individually, he is a brilliant player. But as far as being an integral part of this team, he ain't the right fit, fam. Also, shout out to my man here for taking the words right out of my mouth. Like, yes, look, I get the knuckleball is a part of the CR7 brand, as it's kind of a successor to that whole bend it like Beckham thing. But let's be honest, Ronaldo should try to bend it like Beckham more often. Because let's face it, these days is just a lot more effective. Case in point. Right, so we talk about Manchester United quite a bit on this channel. The main reasons being the two gentlemen we've just mentioned. Cristiano Ronaldo and David Beckham. But if we're honest, when it comes to being United's greatest ever player, neither of them come close to this man. So yeah, as you all probably would have found out by now, Sir Bobby Charlton passed away earlier today, around three years after his older brother Jack did. And in case you didn't know, these guys actually won the World Cup together with England, with Sir Bobby actually holding the all-time goal-scoring records for both England and United for years. From midfield. What a legend, man. But yeah, thoughts are with his family and loved ones during this time. Rest in peace, sir. And yeah, that is that, people. Man, I hate that last part of videos, but it's also just a part of life, as you all know. And yes, with regards to the analysis of today's game, whether you agree or disagree, it beats indifference. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and share. And of course, subscribe. Till next time, keep rolling.